hello. I'm back. I'll give you a few minutes to get on. Um, this cake is cool. I guess the weather is kind of cool. It's not cold in the house, but um, <clears throat> it cooled real fast. And the layers weren't that thick either. I probably would have put them in two, two pans. But um, you got to just give more frosting in between. So, thank y'all for joining me again. I'm Mary, Pinky My Sister's in the Kitchen, and Linda's at home today, and uh, she'll be back uh, with us, with me tomorrow, cooking live again tomorrow. So, excuse me, <coughs> I must have swallowed wrong or something. Let me wash my hands. Um, I've, um, I've cleaned the kitchen up, got the kitchen cleaned, got my counter cleaned, See, I got all that red velvet, that uh, red dye stain off my counter. I have these little uh, sponges. It's called Magic Bars. Magic Erasers is what it's called. It's got some kind of chemicals in it. And I just, uh, I used that and got it off and cleaned my counter. Now, um, any, you can use any kind of uh, cake container. Uh, I have two Rubbermaid um contain cake containers you can do the same thing with that or um and then i have one i think i got it at walmart i got several cake containers but i'm using this one this morning this is uh a cake container that we use at the church when we have our bazaar uh every year a fall fest and um i bought one of the cakes it one of sister boatman's cake so i i saved the uh container and washed it so that's what i'm using today to put my cake in because I'm going to freeze it. Now, you can buy these at the Dollar Tree. I think there's like 32 in a bag, the different sizes. I put one of those down. First of all, I put one of these down. You buy, I bought these at Walmart. You can get them at Hobby Lobby or Walmart or whatever. Um, you can get all sizes. I don't buy the cardboard kind. These are kind of hard to find, but these are plastic and they're coated so that, um, you know, your frosting and your cake, it kind of, the uh, shortening in it, it kind of turns it, kind of soaks into your board. But if, if you get these plastic ones or the coated ones, it does not soak in. So that's what I'm using here today. Wash <coughs> my hands again. Wash my hands. Um, so what I've done, you can put a little dab of frosting on the bottom of your plate, on your bottom of your, your cake round. I use scotch tape. I just put me a little bit of scotch tape and fold it up and put it on there so it what, don't move. Then I put one of the little doilies down. And, um, and I had this in the refrigerator. This is the frosting. And I'm just going to... Um, Frosted, y'all y'all know how to frost. There's so many ways that you can do this, but um, well, I got my I didn't take my my doily down. I'm gonna put a little bit of frosting underneath that, underneath the cake, and it'll keep it from it'll keep that doily from sliding. Okay, it's gonna put me some frosting on there. Like I said, Ain't Elsa use it uh, on her red velvet cake. She put um, the coconut and pecan frosting on hers. Just, um, it depends on how tall this cake is when I get the two layers on it. I may take one of the layers and crumble the cake on top. It just makes it pretty. Um, or I may put pecans, or do both. It just depends on what it looks like whenever I get to that point. But I put my simple syrup on it, and when I was making the cake, uh, and I was put and I put the buttermilk in. I uh, I didn't tell y'all how much buttermilk. It's one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk. You can take a cup of whole milk and put one tablespoon of white vinegar in it and it makes buttermilk. 
So, you know, buttermilk uh, milk products are, I don't know why they're getting hard to find. My, uh, the whipping cream. I hadn't been able to find the whipping cream in over a week. And uh, the milk, the dairy uh, shelves are just really kind of bare. In, in this area, I don't know what it is like around y'all's area. And I know all of y'all know how to frost a cake, but I did want to show you what it looked like. I could have frosted it off camera. But uh, I tried to call Carla and and my daughter Linda, and um, I don't know if they're on the phone with somebody or what. Uh, but I couldn't get a hold of them. And uh, Carla told me this morning the weather is affecting her 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 signal where she's at. So I'm not sure if they're watching or not. I, you know what? I texted Carla, but I don't know if I texted Linda or not. And told her. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and get on here and do this because I've got to go. Uh, I had forgot that I've got to go into town for something. layers and uh, one of my layers I knew it was it was a little bit larger than the other one so I'm gonna put it in the middle and I am going to use all three I wasn't sure if I was gonna take one cake and and um, one layer and crumble it up you can make um, if you made this in two layers uh, I mean if you just want two layers you can take that other layer, a cake, crumble it up, and put it on top just for decorations. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a cake like that, a red velvet cake with the red crumbled cake on top. But that's what they do. It's just crumbled up cake. and this frosting is really good to work with. I guess I can put some on top. It's going to be a tall cake, though. I, uh, but that's what I want. So I'm just what I'm going to do. I kind of frost my edges as I go. As I layer them, you don't have to, but that's what I do. I just layer them as I go. Now, um, I guess it's with practice, but um, when I was younger, I didn't do that. I, I did the layers, and then I did the sides and top. I don't know if that was the way Mother did it. And that's the way I was, you know, I was uh, learned or what. But that's the way I used to do it. I used to icing the, the layers and then the sides and top. Hmm, that's unusual. Usually you don't have crumbs on it when I use it, parchment paper, but it's a little bit of crumbs from the cake. I'll, I'll go over it again when I get it completely done. I'll go over it again. Okay. I don't know why that I'm. I have a tendency to do my cakes not quite so level. Okay. be a tall cake. Matter of fact, I'm just thinking, let's see here, where's my lid? My top. 
Oh, I'm going to have room. When I made those coconut pies, uh, coconut cakes for the bazaar, the, um, those containers, would it kind of mashed the top because it was so tall. I forgot to show y'all a picture of the uh, banana split cake the other day. So I took a picture of a, of, of a piece of it when I cut it, but I forgot to take the picture. I haven't posted it, so I'll post that for y'all if y'all want to, for the ones that wants to see how the, it was good. I served it um, Friday night to the youth, and we had the, um, the, the little Christmas program, the little kids program at church yesterday. They did so good. The little kids, they just stood up there so sweet and sang their little heart out. They practiced and practiced and practiced on it. I remember when I was a kid, how many hours we worked on, uh, on our programs, practicing for church programs. Yeah, I got my kitchen cleaned up, and I had lunch, and I had leftovers lunch from yesterday. I I got takeout Chinese yesterday. My sister Linda doesn't, she don't like Chinese. <laughs> uh, but I got Chuck and I take out Chinese, and it's always more than what I can eat. So I just warmed some up for, for my lunch today. Chuck told me he had some catfish thawing out. He was going, he was going to fix some for me and him for supper. It's taking just about all of this, cause I put it on thick. I'm gonna show y'all something else I'll do in a few minutes when I get, when I finish. I think I, I think I got a pretty near all I want on here. All right, let me show y'all. See the bench scraper? This is what I use. Now Linda has a, a, a round table that turns a stand that turns. I got her that for Christmas one year. But I don't have one. I don't bake cakes enough to for me to invest in one, I guess. But it, it does help when you're trying to get the, get the side smooth. Those doilies, <laughs> I just noticed that I got two. Uh, they come, uh, they're real thin. Let me wipe my finger. They're real thin, and um, you just have to separate them. And I, I'm seeing now that I, I got more than one on there. They're so thin. If, if I had a table to do this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, s some of you might can do it without the uh, turntable, but um, it's just so much easier if you have one. But this is just going to have to do. It's about as smooth as I can get it. This is where I come in as a perfectionist. I don't, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like no creases in it. I don't like no creases in my sheets 
when I make the bed, I walk around that bed three or four times to make sure every wrinkle is out because I just, I just like things smooth. And um, I've always done that. And that's why, that's why I couldn't bake for the public. For I know I helped Linda some, but most of my helping was decorating or mixing or something. But when it comes to decorating, I'm just too much a perfectionist. I just, if, it, if it's got a line in it somewhere, I will work with it and work with it till I, sometimes I mess it up trying to, trying to get it perfect. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do. Now I got chopped nuts. Now this is where I told you that if you wanted to, uh, you could even on your cake, even if, if you didn't want to uh, tear a whole, whole layer of cake up and crumble it up, you can slice off a top of your cake. You know, sometimes your cake rises up and, and, it, and uh, like a dome, just slice that off and save that and crumble it over your cake and that makes a red frosting. But I'm just going to put some chopped pecans on here. And I, I have a three, a cup, I have a cup of chopped pecans. I'm not going to put the whole cup on there. I think I put three-fourths a cup on the, in the recipe, but you don't need that much. Depends on if you got a round, round, uh, an eight inch or nine inch. A nine inch, you would put a little more on there. But I'm not going to cover it solid with pecans. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put a few right here. Trying to get it on the edge a little bit, so. I'm fixing to put this, I'm gonna show you how I wrap it. Okay. This is my cake. Now you 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 may not have this big of um, saran wrap. I bought this at Sam's a few years ago. I don't even know if they still have it or have it or not. But this is this is what I do. Let me move my cake just a little bit. Let me pull it out. It takes a lot of saran wrap to wrap your cakes. But that's what I do. Okay. Here's my cake. And let me put the top on it. Pop it down good. And I put the plastic wrap down on the table first. And then I wrap it this way. Overlap it like that. Just pull it up all over. And then I turn it around and wrap it the other way. And I wrap the whole thing. So see on the on that side. Now I'm gonna take it this way so the ends will be on the side that didn't cover it completely. And then I cover it again. Like I said, I cover them good. I want this cake to be good and airtight. It's pretty airtight with this container, but it's not as airtight as it will be whenever I get through here. Okay, now I, you could just leave it because this is sealed all the way around, but I'm going to do it one more time because, and then I'm going to put it in the freezer and it would be ready to eat for our Christmas. And like I said, you use a lot of plastic, but it's worth it. You do your pies this way too, your coconut cream pies, your um, chocolate cream pies, your uh, pecan, anything you freeze, wrap it and double wrap it. So, I think this, this will probably be enough. You just kind of know. Make sure that it goes all. And to get the sides of it, 
and you probably think I, I use more more wrap than what I would have to, and I probably did, but that's just the way I do them. So, okay. I got it sealed all the way around where there's no air. That's the trick to it. Of, of things when you freeze it and they taste fresh is make sure that it's airtight and no and no uh, air can get to it. And so now I will freeze this cake and uh, I'm gonna do my cream pie the same way. I'm gonna make a sugar-free diet. Uh, it's it's a not a sugar-free. It's a sugar substitute. I use. Uh, I use trivia and make a coconut pie for my brothers. They're diabetics, and so I'll make a coconut pie for them with this so that they can have, have some dessert without feeling like, you know, getting their sugar up too high. So, thank y'all so much for watching me, and now you see how I wrap whenever I put something in the freezer, and, uh, and it works. It works, I, pro I promise you. Thank y'all. Y'all have a, a great day, and we will see you again tomorrow, uh, same time at 10 o'clock. I will be cooking uh, here at my house again, but my sister Linda will be with me, and uh, probably little Linda too. So anyway, we will see y'all tomorrow, and y'all have a blessed evening. Don't forget to count your blessings. Love y'all. Bye-bye.